hello everybody and welcome back to Jude's World. Well, I've been on a train since 10 past 10. I changed at Leeds where I've now come to Birmingham New Street. I'm about to, oh, I'm about to get off of this train where I'm going to go meet my friends Tina and Julie and we're going to see what mischief we can create today. So, let's get me luggage. <laughs> So we're coming up now for getting off this train. So I'll catch you all later. Right, so here we are. We are outside Primark in Birmingham and I've got a little something for my two favorite girls. And they're just about to open the envelope. Oh, it's so exciting. No, no worries. There we are. There we are. Tina's showing her voucher there. There we are, right. Are we ready to go in, girls? Yes, we are. Let's go in. Ready, steady, go. Ready, steady, go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, go, 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 go. Right, well, here we are now. We're back at Julie's now after uh, having seen Rocky Horror. And what you are about to witness is us lot having a little midnight feast. So I have got some uh, chicken dippers. <laughs> Oh, I've got some <laughs> got And the girls there. Hey! Hey! Woo! It's got to be meat. Mmm! Meaty, meaty. And what did you think of Rocky Horror then, girls? Awesome. Hey! Good. Good. Exactly. Amazing. Very, very good. Very, very good. Amazing. So now we're going to get back to our pizzas now. Right, so here we are. It's Wednesday morning and we are coming into the kitchen. And here is Chef Julie. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> a good chef cannot start the day without a good cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, this morning ingredients, we are going to have scrambled egg and we are also going to have toast and some ash browns. Ooh. And boys and girls, if you cook ash browns, it's nice to have an air fryer because that way they need to nice and healthy for you. There you go. So you need one clean big bowl, because there's not three of us. We need some milk. i get some margarine in a moment. We've got nice, big, beautiful large eggs laid by Marks and Spencer's ends. <laughs> and we have got lovely Marks and Spencer's. I'm not advertising for Marks and Spencer's. No. <laughs> Marks and Spencer's bakery. Excellent. Yeah. Or, or excellent. Yeah. As we should say. As we say, excellent! Yes, <laughs> these are not any ordinary eggs. These are Marks and Spencer's eggs. And last time I was missing my seasoning. But this time I have got my seasoning. <laughs> oh, <and pepper. laughs> Would you like to add anything to this conversation, Tina? Yeah, I've left my deodorant and stuff in the car. <laughs> it's a good job Chef Julie has got them too. Time is 20 to 10. So as you will see here, Julie is very hard at work. Cracking on. Cracking on. <laughs> Excellent joke. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> that one took me a few seconds there, sorry. <laughs> cracking on. Oh, cracking on. YouTubers, I'm not normally like this in the morning. There you I'm go, normally... I'm cracking on. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm normally Julie of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, that's brilliant. Cracking on. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Uh. Hash browns are cooking. I'll just do a zoom in of the hash browns. There are. So the hash browns are in the. Oh, there we are. We have got we have got ash browns there. Yeah. And it's nice cracking eggs, but one thing that annoys me is when you get eggs shelly. Oh and god yes, yeah. nothing yeah. worse. Or else it gives a nice crunch to your breakfast. Which I know. Nope. Because so I have guests. And I have YouTube watchers. <laughs> 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 Right, 
I'll just stop for a minute. So here we have egg whisking. Julie normally uses a fork, but as it's for you special YouTube watchers, I should use a proper instrument. Ooh, ooh. Yes. There we are. Art of egg whisking. And that's no yolk. And I think these yolks want to uh, don't want to go. Are we going to say that? Are, 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 are we going to say they don't want to go? Do they? These <laughs> are one tough unnamed eggs. Well, yes, of course. And put in some milk. Not mention any names what milk it is. Well, no, of course, no. But only the best. Well, yes, naturally. Because it stays fresh a lot longer. Well, that's true. You can keep it in your fridge for up to seven days. Oh, very nice. Brands, uh... Well, no, of course not. And it's like it's come fresh from the car as well. Ooh. Yes, Ooh! What the? <laughs> right, we need to give the hash browns a bit of a toss. So we're just going to check the hash browns. we we'll just give them a bit of a toss. There we go! And it isn't that big. Yeah. Right, we'll stop again. Right, so here we are. The eggs are now in the microwave. That looks like three minutes there, doesn't it? It does. So I will stop it mid just to check it's okay. Yeah, oh yes. And then we're gonna load the toast with the bread. So there you go, it's got just under three minutes to go there. There's, there's the toast. Because there's loads of eggs, it'll take quite a while to do. To make sure it's done properly. Well, of course. Just need to give it a good stirring in between. So, is there anything Chef Julie would like to add? At the moment. No. Nope. You're done yet, but they need to stir. Reason I stir them just to make sure the cook truly properly because if you don't cook eggs properly then you can end up with all sorts of tummy aches and and that's not very good similar, no. don't like to poison myself and have a mama guest so that just needs a bit more yep there we go is there anything else you would like to add no I should cook it for a little bit longer L cooking for a little bit longer yes Ash browns are coming on very nicely. Ooh! Yes. So there we go, we've got about 30 seconds there. And we're gonna start some toast now. And there's the toast! Yes. So yeah, so Chef Julie is doing well! Yes. It's gonna be nice because it's got some salt and pepper in it as well. So we've got salt and pepper in there. Just adds a bit of extra taste to the food. Yep, absolutely. Get your seasoning done. And then what? And it's, it's good for nutritional as well because some people put it in the cooking and some people don't realise it's in the cooking and then they just add loads and loads. And really with salt and pepper, especially salt, 
too much of it's no good for you. Well, so that's it. You just use it in cooking. You don't need to put any on your dinner. Well, that's it. There we go. What are you now doing, Julie? Just putting it on the plate. Yeah. Food. Yummy, yum, yum. Like, as a chef's side, plating it on. Yep. You have done really, really well. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, the eggs are being plated up, and then I've just got to plate up the, um... Ash browns. Ash brown shades. Water in the bowl. And then that over ash Ping! What would you like to add to this, Tina? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. And here we have it. Here's breakfast. Yeah, breakfast time. So Tina is now sitting down and having her breakfast. <laughs> Right, well, we're just coming out of Birmingham New Street now, and I am now making my way back home to Selby. So I've got to change at Leeds, got about 40 minutes to wait at Leeds, and then I connect at Leeds to then get home to Selby. So, fingers crossed this journey goes well. Right, so I'm now back at Leeds train station. I arrived here around about 40 minutes ago. I've got about five more minutes and my connecting train to Selby will then be turning up with a bit of luck. So I've got myself in a good position to get on the train. Uh, the journey from Birmingham to Leeds went very, very well. Uh, since I arrived here in Leeds, I've been to get my lottery ticket. Um, I've also been to use the loo and I also just wanted a drink as well. So that's interesting ways of killing time on your, when you're in a train station and waiting for the trains. So there you go so i think my train should be turning fairly shortly so i'm gonna stand here and wait very exciting stuff actually just whilst i am waiting for the train i just wanted to show you this actually this has appeared so over there you've got leads and it's these are some rather interesting looking murals or murals I thought they looked quite good actually. They seem to be all over the station. There's some more over there but you can't really quite see those. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those. Right, well I finally got home around about 45 minutes ago. I've done my unpacking. And now I just need to sort myself out and now it's time to chill. So I hope you've all enjoyed watching this vlog today. And of course, extra special thank you, of course, as always, goes to Tina and Julie for participating in my vlogs. So stay tuned for the next one coming soon at Jude's World.